Hola chicas! I hope everyone is safe, sanitized, and at home. Today I'm going to be talking about Han Skincare Cosmetics, specifically their concealer, which I have right here. So I'm going to do a simple eye look and see how this sucker pans out. So of course, this video is about the concealer, so I am going to be doing my makeup, I'm going to be using other products. Any of those other products that I do use, I will, uh, I will link them in the product description, or sorry, in the description box below in case you are curious. All right, so I will point out the my um, environment. I'm obviously not in my usual setup. And also this is my, um, just a little fun fact, but this is my 16th video ever, which is kind of um, crazy that there's been that many so far. And also this is not my home. And this is a different place than where I normally film in case anyone is watching this and is wondering where I am right now. Um, and yeah, my lighting setup, everything is completely different. I actually think that the lighting and the setup is better here. So I'm moving in. No, I'm kidding. We are in upstate New York right now, staying at one of my, my boyfriend's family members' homes. We are, we are here and the reason why we are here is because my my boyfriend, he is um, an at-risk at person. He has asthma. And we were both just feeling very, um, just having a lot of anxiety. And I mean, especially with him, I was really worried about him. And he was obviously worried about himself. If you see me looking down, I'm, I have a, a mirror down here as well. But yeah, so he was, you know, he, we, were, we were just worried. And I was having a lot of issues sleeping while I was over there. But we're here, um, we've been here for almost, it'll be a week. Actually, I think today is the one week anniversary that we've been here. It's, it's, it's a nice little escape um, at the end of the day. It is, I think, safer. We're not going out here either. So it's not like we're like, we're out and about. Um, there's really not much to do here. And if there were, we wouldn't be doing it. We're being very cautious. We're not infecting anybody. Um, we're on this house by ourselves as well, which is nice. Back to Han Cosmetics. So Han Cosmetics was founded or started in 2015 by a woman named Susan Wong. I read a couple of different articles that, or interviews, sorry, uh, that Susan was just talking about the company and her, her startup. She said she came up with the idea in 2011 when she was pregnant with her son. And obviously when you're pregnant, you're super hyper aware of different ingredients and what not to put on. So that's how she came up with the concept for Han. Uh, skincare cosmetics because it is a clean beauty brand and that's why I'm using it. You know that I like to focus on clean beauty for myself. I am also with child. No, just kidding. But I uh, I might look like it now after the quarantine. I haven't been able to go to the gym. The company started um, actually distributing product in 2015. I Like I said, I have one of the concealers right here. I got a shade that's a little bit brighter um, than normal just because I was using uh, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in, what shade is this? This is in medium, and that wasn't really concealing too much. It was, it's more of like my true skin tone, and I'm still figuring out this whole makeup situation, so I'm figuring out what, what works for me. And I like that as a concealer for like, you know, conceal like a pimple or whatever. I currently have a little cut on my nose. I accidentally cut myself with my nails earlier. I had to file them down a little bit. This I'm hoping to really make a bigger impact on the darker circles under my eyes. So I got a, sh a shade lighter than I think this is and I can swatch both of them on my hand. And this is the shade light medium. And um, it's all natural, it's cruelty free, it's vegan. Here is the packaging paper packaging, all very simple, cutesy. I think she's bigger. She is bigger internationally. I was reading, I don't know where that, where exactly that is internationally, but apparently 40% uh, of uh, the sales come from overseas. And they, the brand is currently trying to focus on making a bigger uh, imprint on the domestic market. So here it is, very, very simple. Very like momish. I feel like I can tell that like a mom started this brand by the packaging. It's just like, uh, I don't know, it's a little cheesy, but no, no judgment here. <laughs> All right, so I just did one swipe. I'm gonna do another one over here. All right, make it about even. 
a little bit more. Okay, as I was mentioning before, Susan worked in an investment banking and she claims that she worked at like Sephora, I guess just like as a, I don't know if she was a makeup artist or just a cashier. She doesn't go into uh, details, but she does say that she worked at um, several different beauty stores and I think cites Sephora specifically when um, interviewed about her, like, what does she know about makeup situation? But mainly, like, she keeps saying that her aha moment is that she was pregnant and when she was pregnant, she really realized that there really are no great, clean beauty brands out there. So she just wanted to create uh, a, a range of products that were affordable. So her big thing is about being affordable and also kind of just like the basics, like the things that you really need. Like she, it was kind of a, for a girl on the go, kind of a, a lineup, just like a blush, a lip tint. And that's just kind of the mindset that she still had as she was saying, like when she was starting the business out and you know, like getting it off of her feet, she was pregnant when she con concepted the, the con like the idea of the, the business. So um, obviously she was a mother during it. And she says she was actually still working full time while, um, she first launched the company and she said that for like the first six months, I believe she was working, still working full time in investment somewhere here in the U S and it was just too much between being like a mom and doing her, her like side gig, like con cosmetics at night. She like, she needed, she needed to choose which route she was going to go. And she quit her job and went full force into Han Cosmetics. And here I am today reviewing it. So good for you, Susan. <laughs> so this is with one application. I don't know. It looks good. It definitely looks better than the Bare Minerals. So just in comparison, this is the Bare Minerals that I was saying that I was using before under my eyes. I'm going to swatch it right here. So you can see it's it's a bit of a... It's actually very close to my actual skin tone, super close. And then here is the Han Skincare Cosmetics that I got today. And you can see that they're close, but actually the Han one looks a little bit darker than the Bare Minerals one, but I don't know. I'm telling you guys, it really, it isn't, it isn't. After applying a second layer, and I was looking at myself real close with the magnifying uh, mirror, I would say that I did originally think that it may have been a little bit too powdery, but it does set in after a while nicely, but you do have to really kind of try to, you have to like work with it and blend it out and be patient. But the result is, is nice. I mean, my skin, I did put on a primer beforehand, the Hylamide uh, primer. And so my skin just already feels soft, but, and that helped. I wonder, I feel like this without a primer may be a little bit tricky. And I wonder if it would end up being a bit more powdery. But overall, I do like it. I want to keep seeing how how it wears over time. But right now, I like it. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to use it to cover up the little cut on my nose. And then I have a pimple right here. I am curious in trying some of Han Beauty's other stuff. They do have... um. Uh, like I said, they have bronze... Like, I, I kept reading articles about Susan. And she was saying how the, the bronzer is one of the best-selling items and then the lip tints as well so i probably wouldn't try the lip tint or the bronzer honestly but i, I want to try the gloss i like always like trying out different glosses and she was saying that she has like a bunch of different or she really wants to release like a bb cream and she's been promising that for a while but she had some like issues during the production of it some drama with that so she um had to kind of go back and say like oh sorry we're not actually releasing the the bb cream right now you guys because we need to figure some stuff out internally so that sucks i felt like i i don't know i liked reading about her so my older cat nana or nana because she's actually named after the manga so it should be pronounced nana but we just call her nana because it's easier to say um but yeah she has not been doing so well unfortunately she's just been she she's a very skittish cat and she doesn't take to change very well so she has not been happy about this move, but um, the little one has been loving it and been like running amok all over the house. <laughs> and she's probably gonna be really sad when we go back to our little apartment. So yesterday they sent out those government checks and were you one of the lucky ones or unlucky ones who got their money? My boyfriend unfortunately did not get his check, but I did get mine. 
and I, I'm just using it, I'm gonna use it to pay off like my credit card. I'm being really smart about this. This isn't the time to do anything crazy. And even if you wanted to, you couldn't even like, you can't book a vacation or anything like that. So this is, just be smart and save your money, people. All right, you guys, so I am finishing up right here and just adding a little bit more shimmer to my crease line. But I hope that you guys did enjoy my video and I hope that you learned a little bit something about Han Cosmetics and about Susan Wong. And yeah, I think she's a, a cool lady. And overall, I think that this is a, a good product. I would like to try out more things from her lineup. So we'll probably see more Han Cosmetics on this channel. But I also hope you guys enjoy my little eye look. Right now, I've been feeling the monochromatic looks, as I said earlier. But anyways, I'm gonna put on some chapstick and then I'm just gonna go sit around my house. So I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Besos.